you've seen all the other unboxings. If you want to see an actual T50 come out of the box where you lift it out, watch that elsewhere. But here, you're going to see how we get a T50 in this here airplane. I will only sell what is really good. And if this thing is garbage, I will tell you it is garbage. I do not expect it to be garbage. We've all been waiting for this. We've been told that this is the latest and the greatest from DJI. And I'm going to put it to the test because that's what I do. How's it going? Mike with New Way Ag. By this title, you probably know what's going on. Yeah, we're here to pick up a T50. But the problem is, how's it gonna fit in that there door? Whatever width I am, I don't know that that's gonna work. You've seen all the other unboxings, so if you wanna see an actual T50 come out of the box where you lift it out, watch that elsewhere. But here, you're gonna see how we get a T50 in this here airplane, hopefully. So let's head over here and pick this thing up. Here he is. Okay guys, we just showed up at AgriSpray. We're here to pick up our uh, T50. If you don't know, they are the largest distributor in the country right now, distributing DJI specific spray drones. So we're gonna go in here and we're going to get it out. Probably not much of an unboxing. Probably gonna have to take it apart to get it into the airplane. And then we're taking it back and then we're gonna put it to the test so we know how well this thing's gonna work for you guys. So let's roll. We've all been waiting for this, right? We've been told that this is the latest and the greatest from DJI, and I'm gonna put it to the test, because that's what I do. I will only sell what is really good, and if this thing is garbage, I will tell you it is garbage. I do not expect it to be garbage. DJI has always made good drones. Like, all the drones that I use, I don't endorse baby drones, don't even get started on that. But like, good drones, I will tell you if it's a good drone, and we're gonna find out. Once we get this thing out of the box, we get the legs taken off, we shove it into this little tiny airplane door. We'll get it home and we'll do some testing. Let's do it. Usually you use two guys. No, not me. Good to see you. Good, good to see you. Yeah, T-50s, are you impressed with them? Well, I am for a couple of reasons. First off, terrain following, second off, pump capacity. But really, you know, where do you use that? Yeah, is the pump bigger or did they just turn it up to pump more? Let me show you. Take one off, I'll show you. On the T40, this channel is actually wider, Okay. but it wasn't as big a diameter. And so this is supposed to spin faster. If you look on the housing right here, mm -hmm. you actually offset uh, yep. the outlet port. And so it should actually reduce the friction then all you have to do is pull it off the field. You know, yeah, clean that out. so I, uh, I was just telling them, I don't recommend people to treat their drones like I do, but right. I didn't do anything to my drones last year and I never had one pump issue. So this I'll, this will be the same way. Oh yeah. I just don't, yeah. I don't touch most, anything and still. Most people don't. Okay. Yeah. I, I just took mine off here when I, uh, yeah. when I would take it off of the T40. No, you can just unlock it right there. Okay. Well, look at that. How about it? Learning something. Learning something new every yeah. day. Yeah. Cool. Sure. It is so weird that they are white. Like, what is with this? It's like there's a coating on it. Yeah, you can see a guy said that painting your props makes it more efficient. Yeah. DJI says that black props, obviously, higher temperature, right? Mm -hmm. And so whenever it's 90 plus degrees out, then your props might get hot enough to actually warp and reduce flight efficiency because it changes the pitch and everything. You know? uh, so what they say is white props are cooler, uh, they don't warp as easily. It's the same material, same prop. Cooler meaning cool to the touch, not cool. <laughs> well, <laughs> that is what I actually <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they were like, wait, let's make our drone stick out. There's gonna be these white props flying around because I think it looks cool. It's like white wall tires. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Yeah, pretty soon we're rolling around with white wall tires again. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So my first opinion, I haven't tried it out yet. I think the reason that the props are white is because it looks cool. That's what I'm going with. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you see how they did it though? Oh, if you look back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. That's the first thing we noticed. <laughs> This is bigger. They probably did this to make it easier to replace things. That's nice. I am borderline concerned we won't get this thing in the airplane. Um, <laughs> it was an expensive tri trip if it doesn't. Uh, what do you mean? The door is only 21 inches wide. I thought you tested all this. No, I didn't. We're gonna take the legs off. 21 inches wide. You have to take the arms off too. No. Take it, put it on its side. Is it less than it 21 in? inches when you do that? I think so. Uh, I mean, obviously take the tank out. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, am I gonna put this thing through the test. Those T40s, the stuff we're spraying, train filing socks compared to the XAG. Yeah, it's equally a suck. Yeah. Well, we had this cranked up full speed, 32 feet per second, flying up the Lust Hills in Iowa with the grass back terraces. And had You're convinced. No issues. Nice. Yeah. This is to hold the arms and the props, and it's like, come on guys, just come up with a system, go all the way around. Have you heard of the super bungee? <laughs> <laughs> what? You think I'm joking? No, hey, this is the most I've seen you laugh. <laughs> you see? Bungee. I got Taylor laughing. Well, it's just like, you're talking about super bungee. You've heard of the super bungee. <laughs> like you're dead serious about this. I didn't so even ridiculous. think about it, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, for real, it's a super bungee. The sucker goes out to 16 feet long, but it shortens up to like three feet. Yeah. And so we close these up, bring the super bungee around, lock it in, good to go. Yeah. If this super is not the super bungee. <laughs> that's not it. No, that's, that's the dummy bungee. <laughs> What's DJ, I think, if we would put all that in there, they're like, they don't like our strap system. <laughs> they can't like their strap system. That was an afterthought. Probably. We lose half of them. Oh, yeah. I did, too. Yeah. This is better. I like this already. I don't know how well it's going to hold. I mean, it's friggin' plastic. You could mount it down on something with these holes in here. That's nice. So you can put, bolt it down in. This is better. It looks stronger, but it's plastic. This is a good idea. This is really like, you don't think about it. Like when, if you just have it sitting there, put your toe on there, boom, pull it out. If you have the new way trailer, you're gonna be lifting like this, but this will have to be tied down oh, if yeah. it's down in. Controller is the same thing, I think, right? It is. The process might be a little bit different, but everything else, that I could tell, identical. New software. New software. Slightly. Minor differences in the software. Okay. The biggest difference I could tell just when you first get into it is on the 40, you plan your route on a different page after you plan your boundary and your obstacles. Mm. On this one, they, and the 40 is the first one like that. The 20, the 30, the T16, you plan your route at the same time you plan your boundaries. Match okay. your boundary, yep. change your route direction, yep. that kind of stuff. So they went back to that on this one. Nice. Yeah, which is actually better in my opinion. Your route direction and width, start point, that all saves to the field file itself. So whenever you're running multiple drones, this software will be a bit better. Multiple drones, multiple pilots, right? Multiple drones, multiple remotes, multiple pilots. Of course. When new pilots get started, like they, they think like it's just gonna go crazy and do its own thing. Like they don't realize, take it off, let your, you know, let go of the sticks and it will hover. That's the biggest thing I get with new people coming into drones is they think if I move one stick the wrong way, the thing is crashing. But get a little bit of time on them. We're talking about checklists. I think checklists are really good. When you're a new pilot, checklists are really important because you wanna go over everything. As you start getting into the system, it's just, it flows. It's like getting on a skid steer. If you've done it for so long, it just feels natural. Yeah. So that I feel these are the same way. You've been in drones for a while now. Your first time flying a big drone, a spray drone, was that any different for you? What I had to get comfortable with is watching it go 22 miles an hour straight toward that tree and be like, are you stopping? Like that was the hardest adjustment because all my flying is 300 feet plus. Mm -hmm. Like it's a little hard to wreck into something. Now we don't all have a 200 foot tower at our location. So yeah, you, you could have that, but for the most part I'm flying high. When I built my first boundaries, of course I was flying a drone that's not that good, uh, the XAG and that thing is going right toward that tree and I'm like, 
it's a little uneasy. Yeah. That's probably the, the hardest thing for me. It's yeah. just watching this $20,000 drone go straight toward a tree. Yeah. Outside of that, I think it's pretty yeah. intuitive. That's why I like DJI. It's so user friendly. I can get this thing out of the box, get a guy that has never flown a drone, get him somewhat comfortable in about three to four hours with flying it. Now, learning the whole system, right, route, how to build boundaries, stuff, whole different ballgame, but get them comfortable flying along the sticks, I think it's easy. It just makes sense. Like when I was operating that other drone, it's like first do it here, then hope that your phone is connected yeah. to your controller, then hope that your controller is connected to your drone, and just hope that nothing anywhere in between here loses whatever connection. Whatever you do, don't touch the sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever talk to the founder or co-founder of XAG? Not one-on-one. -on -one. Because he was down there at that yeah. extension. I was going to talk to him. I feel like I would have been very rude. I'm just going to tell him, like, come on, guy. Like, you got a great product. Oh, like, yeah. hardware. Mm. Where'd they go off the rails on their side? Well, what they did is they wanted to make it to where it was 100% autonomous. Like, they don't like sticks. They want it autonomous. You map all your fields out on their IoT platform or whatever, and then send your teams out. They all have a smartphone, connect to the app, go to the, go to the 4G, because in China, they have 4G everywhere. Oh, yeah. So go to the 4G, 4G go down to the drone, and everything's connected. So they, they wanted a fully autonomous platform. Translating that here to the US market is a bit different. Yeah. yeah, it was difficult. I was trying to get some acres done down in Coshocton area in the hills. Radar sucked, uh, connection sucked. Like there's times of things out there hovering. Like connect and yeah. the pistol grip, stupid controller. Oh yeah, yeah, my <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. I seen that. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Here she goes. We're gonna fit her in that thing. I think it's gonna be actually pretty easy. We're about to find out. You think it'll fit? No, it has to fit. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we take this. We put it on its side like this and slide her in there. So close. Oh my gosh. We do that. Great success. Oh, yeah. I can officially tell you that T50 fits into a 340 door. We got our T50 though. I'm making content on Monday. You guys are going to run it. Stick around because we're going to put this thing through the test. We're going to see how good this 50 is. We got her. Okay guys, we officially have done it. We got the T50 in and out of a little tiny plane door. Doesn't look brand new anymore. It's got a little bit of scratches here and there, but white props, they'll wash off or they'll get painted. That's all for this video, but make sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be bringing you a in-depth, honest review of the T50. We are going to be bringing you drone spray content that has never been done before. That's all I got. There's an airplane coming. We're out. I appreciate it. You could do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> I got him laughing again. That's that's the only reason I came.